Hello and welcome to part three of Deploying Hubs Cloud. I'm Robin Wilson and I'm going to help you go through all of the steps in the admin panel. And they are all listed above for what we're doing. First, we will be getting out of the SES sandbox. So go to the AWS troubleshooting page on the Hubs Cloud docs. We're going to be following solution number two, which is send request to AWS for a limit increase. And we're going to create a case. These are reviewed by real people, so please follow in the instructions. SES, mail type, this is system notifications since we're logging in. This is completely optional, website URL. And we have some copy and pastes on the page to make it easy for you. Again, this is reviewed by a real person. All right, keep going through. And then say, yes, you will comply. And this is important, we want it to be in the North Virginia, US East 1 region because this is where our SES is handled. Very important. I put 1,000, I believe they give you 10,000 anyway. And the case description. This is important. Even though we've provided you with a copy and paste, we really recommend you to list out what exactly your Hubs Cloud instance is going to be or how SES is going to be used. AWS has very strict spam rules. So this is a way to make sure that your request is granted. We have heard people not get SES sending limit increases because this wasn't detailed enough. And when you're ready, select submit. You will get an email that they have received your increase and it took me about 24 hours to receive an email that granted the increase again somebody has to look at it and grant it okay let's move on to the next bit which is finding avatars i'm going to import these cool color robots in a dot pack file wait for them to load you can look all the avatars everything looks good there's a few settings you can do, but for avatars, I don't mind. You can watch them load if you'd like. All done. Now, if you go to the avatar tabs, so this pending avatars tab, if other people on your instance wants to add an avatar, you'll have to approve it in pending avatars. This is a kind of nice pipeline for you to look over everything. Next, let's get some scenes. So I like the scenic scenes. So I'm going to click, or going to copy and paste that URL. And I've decided that I'm going to deselect which scenes are going to be used for the default. So the two that are set to default are the top two. And it will randomly choose between these two when somebody just clicks the button, create a scene. Wait for them to load and loaded. And I'm going to show you an example. If you don't like one of these scenes, how to delist so it does not pop up. So for example, this scene right here, it has a featured tag. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to select this to delisted. So nobody can select that scene anymore. This is our way of deleting scenes because currently there's a lot of dependencies and it's not implemented yet. To be continued. So we are finished with setting up the admin panel. You'll see we are still in the simple email service sandbox. Give that again a day. And we have our avatars and our scenes imported. So the only thing left to do is go to our hubs cloud landing page and create a room create a room and remember those two default scenes it's going to choose one it chose space i'm going to change my avatar to the nice purple one 
accept mic permissions, security. Test. Good, everything's working. And congrats, we did it. Click on the magic wand and you can make little entities with text on them. Welcome, or hello, <laughs> Hubs Cloud. We did it. And I'm gonna make this bigger. Press space bar to go into this menu. <laughs> Huzzah. And smile. <laughs> we have successfully deployed Hubs Cloud through our three part series. Thank you for watching and following, and I will see you in Hubs.